Hi, welcome to Making All the Plants. I'm Connie, and if we haven't met before, I'm a busy mom of two active kids, and both my husband and I have full-time careers. My goal is to share with you how I stay on top of all life throws at me in one planner so that you might be able to do the same. I grabbed a piece of dot grid paper and some washi tape, a sticker book, and some leftover stickers from different spreads, and I thought that today I would put a ta-da list together. So come along with me as I decorate and share my goals for my ta-da list with you. So we all know how overwhelming a traditional to-do list can get, especially when life doesn't go as planned. Like this week, my son ended up with a concussion, so we've been going through concussion protocol, and a lot of things did not get done on my normal to-do list. However, a to-do list is a simple way to flip the script, and instead of dwelling on unchecked tasks, it celebrates everything that you did accomplish throughout the week, the month, or even the quarter, depending on how much you want to record on your page. But when we focus too much on what's left undone, it's easy to feel defeated. So a to-do list shifts your mindset from scarcity to abundance, and you can see the value in your efforts and feel encouraged instead of beating yourself up over what did not get done. This simple change helps you take stock of your time and realize how much you're really achieving, even on days when things don't go as planned. So let me know down below if you have a ta-da list or if you are just having a great season where you are just marking things off your to-do list left and right. I know that I go through phases where a to-do list is exactly what I need. And right now I'm feeling like I'm in need of the ta-da list so that I can keep my spirits up and keep checking things off my list or getting things done that aren't on my list. I did decide to keep this page pretty simple and I'm just going to decorate with a bunch of black boxes that are all the same size and it just gives me enough room to write a little sentence about what I did accomplish and what I want to remember to give myself credit for. I know that personally I have been beating myself up a little bit because I just haven't been able to get all the things done. But then when I look back, I think, well, except even though I didn't get those things on my to-do list done or completed, sometimes I start things and I don't have them completed, but even the small steps make a difference. And even getting things done that aren't necessarily on my to-do list, that's still a win. And I need to remember those wins so that I can continue to move forward without beating myself up. I'm also not sure what length of time this ta-da list will cover. I figure I will just continue to add things to it until it's full and then I can make another one or I can do some more on the back or I can just start writing in between the boxes, whatever works. I'm not going for 100% neatness. I'm really just trying to inspire myself to stay positive about forward momentum. And that's why I am picking the decor that I did so that it's something bright and cheerful and it makes me want to come back to it and look at it and be excited about those things that I have accomplished this week, this month, this quarter, or however long of a time period it takes me to fill up this page. I also don't want to put extra pressure on myself to say, I'm going to fill up all these boxes by the end of October because that would just be another item on my to-do list. This really just needs to be a place where I can celebrate myself and not more pressure that I'm putting on myself to accomplish things or get things done. To be clear, I will be using my to-do list to complement my to-do list rather than replace it. I will use my to-do list to plan and prioritize tasks and my to-do list to celebrate my progress. And then at the end of each week, month, and quarter, I will review both my to-do lists and my to-do list to better assess and set realistic expectations for the upcoming time period. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, I don't have the time to decorate a page for 
another list or another item in my planner. You don't need to do anything fancy to make a to-do list. Just try a journal or even just your notes app on your phone, write it on a post-it and stick it on the wall next to where you would work. Just anything that could be a visual reminder of what you did complete during the week, the month, or the quarter. If you need even more motivation to keep pushing yourself through tasks, find a way to reward yourself for your accomplishments. Maybe stop and get that coffee that you've been craving. Take a relaxing bath. Give yourself permission to watch an episode of that TV show you love. Take a walk or whatever is rewarding and re-energizing for you. I'd love to hear how you use your to-do lists and your ta-da lists in your daily life. Drop a comment below and share what helps you stay motivated, even when things don't go as planned. And I am dropping in just a few doodles because I didn't want a lot of white space and the pressure to fill up those areas with even more ta-da items. So you do what works best for you, but thanks for coming along today and building a ta-da list with me. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more planning tips. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.